Yo, guys, it is Conviction. I am back. I am bringing you guys a live commentary with the one, the only, Toke Nasty. What up, man? All right, guys, let's get into this interview. This is for a celebration for his channel for one year. He went from, well, as Drake would say, he started at the bottom and now he's here. It's actually pretty <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it's definitely nice, man. Definitely nice. Just getting started, though. Just getting started. Man, I've got to ask you, one of the big biggest questions I've ever heard from anyone, and I have to personally agree, what happens to the intro at the beginning of the videos? That had me caught the moment I seen it every time. Um, I actually, I tried to, started working on a new one, and then I, I it kind of just drifted away from it. Um, I wanted something catchy, but not 33 seconds long. And I, I just couldn't come up with anything as as good as the first one, and I felt like I felt like after uploading it every single day, it kind of might have kind of got old to me. I don't know if it got old to other people, but it, it kind of got old to me. So I decided to take it out and um, bring it back on special occasions. Um, and, and when it does come back, I, I definitely see a lot of people get hyped about it. It's a, it's an awesome song. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me to put it on SoundCloud or iTunes or whatnot. I still haven't done it. I mean, I literally am probably the only person who has the song and it's just chilling on my computer. So I, pro I probably should get around to uploading that. I mean, a lot of people want it. Um, it's definitely, it definitely gets you hyped. When, you, when you're playing Madden, it definitely gets you hyped. It's got a nice little catchy, catchy little tone to it. Um, but I mean, we might have to bring it back into the future. Definitely gonna have to bring it back. Eventually, I want to get something better. Um, but... Uh, I, I definitely don't want to go from good to worse, um, and I don't think anyone wants to do that. So, I mean, until I get something that's better than than the one I have, I'll just, you know, just keep randomly putting it into certain videos. I mean, that's, that's definitely a good call on that one. I mean, take it. When you have your flashback packs, man, that's definitely an add-on right there. Even, even add two flashbacks to one video, save you from being backlogged so much. Right, man, I'm backed up with flashbacks right now. Speaking of it, just opening flashback after flashback, guys. It's, I've, it's The struggle is real this year with the packs, man. I don't care what anyone says about pack luck or juice packs for whoever. The, the pack luck for me this year has been absolutely atrocious. Now with the 99s rolling around, the Ultimate Legends, the golden tickets in the future, hopefully I can get my luck back, man. I'm hoping you want to borrow some of my luck. I mean, you see all this pack luck I have. I can't pull a bundle without at least five elites. Oh, man, that's that's absolutely insane, dude. I haven't pulled a legend. I mean, I do good in the promos as far as, you know, if they if they put gifts in packs for the entire year, I'd be balling. I could pull a gift left and right. But as far as a, an actual legend, who knows? Maybe tonight is my night. I'm trying to stay optimistic about it. I'm trying to stay positive, you know. Nobody wants a Debbie Downer when you're doing a pack opening. So, I mean, I take what I get. I'm happy for it. And, you know, hopefully hopefully one day when that when that big pull comes, it's going to be something epic. The longer, the longer Madden wants to hold out on me, the better it's going to be, I think. Oh, I've got to agree with that, man. My next question for you, man, is how does it feel to be on YouTube for exactly over a year to make such a huge impact on this Madden community and YouTube community, let alone Twitch, which you just started? Dude, it's abs it's crazy, man. It, the The support is absolutely insane. Um, I feel like just I don't know, man. It's it's just it's it's insane to me to think um, where I was a year ago to where I am now. It's you know I'm truly humble for it, truly blessed. Like I never in a million years would have thought, you know, um, I'd be people be buying T-shirts and subscribing to my Twitch channel and. You know, trying to be first on a video. I mean, it's just the love is is just amazing, man. I'm truly blessed by every single person. Um, you know, I have no favorites. Every single person, you know, definitely just means a lot to me. It's it's absolutely insane. Um, the, if you guys don't know, the Madden community is very very tight. Um, everybody is friends. You're either best friends with everyone or you're enemies with everyone. Um, and it's it's an amazing it's an amazing community to be with. I, it's it's a giant community. It's it's growing like crazy. Um, and the one thing you know that I, the one thing that I always try to tell people is um, no matter how successful like my channel is going to be, and I mean it's growing pretty nicely. I can't can't complain about it at all. But I, I really I, I believe that there's room for everybody to grow. 
And, you know, ultimately, like, as much as I want to grow, I want everybody to be able to grow with me. That's why I try to tell everybody who starts a YouTube channel or starts a streaming channel um, to not give up, man, because in the beginning, it's rough. I mean, it was rough for everybody I know. It's, you know, you're not going to get the views or the subs you want in one day. But I mean, hard work does pay off. Um, you know, and I always tell people, hey, you know, work hard, put in the effort, you know, grind a little bit, tweet me your channel. Like, it's all, I'm all about help, trying to help as many people as I can as far as, you know, getting views or letting people see that their talent is there. Um, you know, because a lot of these people that put out every day, I, I don't think people understand the amount of effort and time and devotion it takes to making an actual YouTube video. Now, streaming is a little different because you can just go live and be yourself and, you know, interact with your viewers. But as far as going on YouTube and making a video, you know, it, it takes a lot of time. I mean, from recording the video to editing the video to matching your live commentaries up to commentaring after the video, exporting the video, making a thumbnail uploading it to YouTube, YouTube, putting the tags on there, hoping that you, that, you know, that video is going to explode and it's going to put you on the map. And, um, just, just, I'm just truly blessed, man. Truly blessed. Like I never thought, uh, I never thought my channel would be where it's at right now, five years from now. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely an awesome feeling. Um, definitely it's, it's awesome, man. And we're just man. getting started. We're just getting started. Uh, I feel like one year is just not enough time to allow my full potential to grow. I mean, speaking of you, I would and, say. you and big games and blowing up, I remember since I was one of the worst, your first subs, one of the big blow-up games you had, which contrary to my gaming skill and love for it, still depresses me to this day, <laughs> was the epic 50k coin game. I watched that last night. I watched it last week, and I still can't get over it. Yeah, that's... It's just insane, man. I tend to just, I tend to either get really lucky or really clutch in some situations. Not all the time, obviously. Not all the time. Everybody loses in Madden. Uh, I'm definitely a lot better in last year's game than I am in this game. Um, but that was that was insane, man. That was absolutely insane. No timeouts. Down by two, and I block Mister your convictions field goal and then I have to get down the field with eight seconds 30 yards and get out of bounds in order to get into field goal range and we were able to clutch it out 50k richer you, you know it was, <laughs> for one of us yes <laughs> for the other one not so much it was definitely it's definitely a clutch game what and, and and you know the other thing about it was that was like right when I first started my YouTube so to have like an epic game like that, like a close game, um, you know, something that, you know, so one of the viewers could get hyped about or, you know, watch to the last second. Uh, it definitely, you know, it definitely, definitely was awesome, man. It was definitely a good game. Um, I couldn't believe, <laughs> couldn't believe I won, but I, I couldn't mean, believe you almost woke up your girl. I know. That, I, think that was I, almost death. I think I almost woke up the whole neighborhood. Um, we played at like two thirty in the morning. <laughs> I'm mean, gonna get a new headset after that. But man, I know you're a busy person. You got your Twitch. You're getting ready about to start up another stream. I've got about two more questions for you, just to knock it out of the park real quick. One of them was asked by actually one of your first subs, by the name Adidas Man Seventeen Fifteen hey, or Matthew Adidas Homicide. What's happening, Matt? Man, he even goes to your stream. He tries to get your attention and ask you. He asks, when are you ever going to start playing on the PS4? He would love to play Advanced Warfare or even Madden. I, I just gotta, I gotta just, I, I just gotta hook it up, man. Um, I doing the Mutt Master really just took up all my time. As you guys know, I have a family. I have a, you know, almost a one-year-old son. I work forty hours a week, and I still try to, I try to do the YouTube and the streaming on the side. Um, it's just soon, hopefully soon, hopefully soon next year. Hopefully, I'm gonna do both consoles. Um. Uh, maybe do a budget squad, no money spent on PS4, and then do the, you know the Toke squad on on the Xbox One or vice versa, one of the two. But um, I definitely definitely want to get around to it. Um, might be something even near in the future to do. Definitely. Um, as you, the, and that's another reason why I started streaming. Um, you know, I've probably played 
Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, and NBA on my stream as much as I've played Madden, just for the fact that, you know, it gives me an opportunity to play with the people that are, are watching. You know, it's so hard to, when you have a whole bunch of people in your stream to, you know, satisfy everyone with, hey, I want to play, I want to play, you know, and choosing favorites, picking the people people you want to play you grant that thought you can just get an all all out anarchy 32 man you know lobby same thing with, with call of duty you know 18 people anybody who wants to join can join and and that's that's the main thing with me man is just trying to interact with everyone you know having a good time win lose tie you know drop a 50 bomb get blown out you know drop a nuke drop a donut it doesn't matter to me as long as, as long as everyone's having fun and we're all interacting with each other, that's that's really a, that's my main goal, man. That's, that's all that a, matters to me. And that is a great goal, man. The last question for you, because I know you are actually pressed for time. Right now, what is on your Madden 16, Madden Ultimate team or franchise wish list? Because I know personally I want team play back. Team play, definitely. 100% team play. Team play was a lot of fun, man. Um, I'll, actually, you know, I've talked to a lot of other people. A lot of people have wanted to do series on team play this year. And it's almost been debatable, you know, to do like group group um, YouTube videos, group streaming with other streamers or YouTubers. It's almost been debatable to go back to Madden 25 just to be able to play team play. Um, for them to take that out, I really hope that they took it out to make it 100 times better for Madden 16. If it doesn't come back in Madden 16, I mean, we might as well kiss it goodbye. Yeah. It's not coming back. But it definitely should. Um, for Madden, ultimate team, I you know... Everyone's going to say pack odds, this, that, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's a business. I understand completely. Uh, I think I think from last year to this year, they did a giant jump in actual mutt. Um, you know, there's a hundred things better than than last year in Madden Ultimate Team. And I, and, I, and they're definitely, definitely doing a great job with that. Um, as far as gameplay-wise, I think the game is broken. Um, it's definitely one of my least favorite Maddens. I, I feel like they cater... Um, <sighs> I feel like you should be rewarded if you have good user. I feel like you should be rewarded more if you're a smart, conservative player. Um, I feel like there's a lot of bullshit that happens in the game. Excuse my French. Um, but I, I feel like there's a lot of things that they added that should be taken away. I think they should focus on other aspects of the game, um, especially these freezing issues. Um, I don't know if anyone else is having them. I've been having them the last two weeks now. I can't even seem to complete a, a, an entire season without freezing a couple times. And to me, that's absolutely unacceptable. Uh, but hopefully, you know, maybe I'll get a chance to go down there and see the game early. We are going to E3 um, in L.A. during the summer, and that'll be the first premiere of Madden 16. So I will definitely, definitely be taking videos as much as I can, letting you guys know exactly what's going on. Definitely pumped up about that. I mean, a word of advice on the freezing issue. It could be corrupted data. I just faced that over here. I deleted my saved data and then just went back into it. There hasn't been a freezing issue in a month. Yeah, I think it's actually – I've been doing some troubleshooting myself. I turned off all my notifications. I think it's because when I'm live streaming or if I'm appearing online, um, people are offering a massive amount of cards on my giveaways, and it's like popping up every time, card notification, card notification, or game invite, game invite, or party invite. So I turned all that off, and I, I haven't had a problem yet, so hopefully that's it. Because I don't have actually even have the, the disc, man. I have a digitally downloaded copy. So when people are telling me, "Oh, the, the game's freezing, the disc is freezing," I'm like, "Bruh, I don't even have I don't even have a disc." This is the only game I have a disc with. I have PlayStation. We go down every week, so thank thankfully I have the disc. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to play it. But man, I thank you so much for dropping by. I'm pretty sure everyone that's watching this channel right now and watching this video will thank you. But as I like to say, guys, I'm out. Toke, any last words, man? Nah, oh, man, thanks for having me on, guys. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and make sure to drop that like.